What's up guys today? Very special video because we got the one and only belly spoon and the one and only belly fork. It's dinner time. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got two boxes because we got two bell songs today. We got the spoon and the fork. Notice this one, the item number FK, this one SP, spoon and fork. Let's open up the fork first. Okay, so it's got like um, imitation Benchmade style design, um, but very, but smaller and uh, definitely feels much cheaper. Pin style construction, but here's what you guys really want to see. Kaboom! And actually, okay, so it's like super wiggly, totally janky, feels crazy. We, um, I'm already telling you now it's going to be crazy, crazy weird to flip. <laughs> but the best quality thing on the whole thing probably is the freaking... <laughs> fork part. The fork part feels like it's made out of good quality metal. The rest feels like super, just, I don't know, you know, it's pin style construction, so it's going to have like tons of slop and crap. Um, and, you know, no latch gate and all that good stuff, but it, I mean, <laughs> it almost feels better than I was expecting. Uh, we do have a little marking on the blade there. Let's check out the spoon. All right, we got the same style, everything else. Looks like this side of the spoon's got like a little knife on it. A little serration, ooh. Okay, this one's got even worse play. That's for, look at this play on this thing. Okay, that's all right though. We have a freaking spoon with a little, uh, <laughs> a little knife serration on it. Oh my God, this one. <laughs> okay, so let's go, uh, let's go flip these in a minute. But once again, this one also has the markings on there. And, uh, let me know in the comments, which one looks cooler? I think it was $20 for the pair of these on Amazon. <laughs> uh, actually, here, yeah. Here's it next to some real bells on, so you can pair, like, the size. Here's it next to a Max Ace Covenant. Here's it next to a NRB trap code that I custom anode. You can watch a video on how I did that. Yeah, so, um, I believe the fork is about just as long as the spoon on, yeah. So the same length. Go very goofy. But yeah, let's um let's give them a throw. Alright guys, we got the fork here. Let's start with the fork. Uh, it's got a little less play. I might be able to pull off some tricks with this one actually. Who knows, maybe the spoon I will be able to too. But yeah, let's start off. Uh, just some uh, real basic stuff here. Okay. Surprisingly, <laughs> whoa. That time uh it got like stuck shut when I went to throw it, so it just kind of slipped out of my hand. Yeah, definitely a little unpredictable on the aerials, but it kind of, actually aerial is pretty nice. Um, just a little unpredictable how it comes out of your hand. Because sometimes the fork, it feels like you go to throw it and the fork, like, the teeth get, like, caught on it. See, like that? Like, if it's angled up and it doesn't come out right away. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, that's a little goofy. But as far as just, like, you know, being able to do a little trick and then, if you're using it as a fork... Um, it's got a lot of play, but once you're squeezing the handles, it actually feels really secure. So, I mean, I guess you could, as long as you keep pressure on it, you, you could use it pretty easily as an actual fork. Um, to me, this would be something I'd throw in, like, my tackle box. So, if I did ever do, like, a catch and cook or something, I got these, you know, at least I got a little fork there. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it can behind the eight ball. Uh, it actually carries momentum, not that bad. Because even though it is like really crappy and cheap, it is still channel style construction. So it actually, the weight on it is pretty nice. Like the weight balance, it's kind of like right where it should be. Um, the main thing is just, you know, these pins, I mean, these pins are just, you know, not in there tight and there's like no bushings or anything. Um, if there was some, if you put some washers in here, uh, you probably could actually make it play a lot better. Uh, if you found a way to like, you know, put new pins in it, like took the pins out, put some washers in here, you probably could make it like halfway decent, but I don't really see why you would take the point, uh, take the time to do it. This one, the spoon definitely feels a lot worse as far as the play, um, but I'm not getting the same problem. Oh yeah, I am. Okay, that, yeah, never mind, yeah, I am. <laughs> Where the spoon 
Yeah, like it, it got stuck that time to the handle a little bit. Also too, there's no latch gate on these. So the latch is just like smashing into everything and like getting in the way of the blade closing and stuff. When it's like that, like it won't close. And this one's so loose, like, look at that. Like the spoon can go like completely over it. <laughs> if it doesn't hit right, yeah, see like, so definitely these are not high quality flippers. Even like the $15 trainers you get on Amazon and stuff are way better than these. Um, but they, for what these are, these are actually pretty cool. Um, definitely worth the 20 bucks. Cause I didn't get these to be like great flippers. You know what I mean? Oh. Definitely still, uh, you know, you can manage, you can do some tricks on them. So I think they were worth the money. They were worth the $10 each. But I wouldn't pay much more for them. Whoa, come on. Yeah, like when I go, sometimes, yeah, just to, they don't want to open, especially the spoon one. Sometimes, like the, the blade part won't come out. Yeah, like it doesn't want to come out. I want to do, let's try it like this. Try to do a little two handed here. Now I got two of them. Good enough. But yeah, um, it's almost dinner time, so I'm going to go and get to it so link will be down below if you want to pick these up for whatever reason um pretty fun little novelty and uh i don't know they're cool for what they are so i'll see you guys later and have a good one